Yo, what's up, Tube? Jack Spade on the beat. And um, I'll just be talking you through what I'm doing during this, meet, uh, during this beat making video. Sometimes I like to start with the drums. You know, I'll pick out some hitting drums and then I'll, I'll just lay that down like that. Right now I'm quantizing. And um, put some hi hats in there. I already had the sounds ready, so I knew what, what I was doing. I came prepared, you know. I like to pre prepare myself before I get into the beat making mode, you know. Now, I like doing beat making videos like this. Um, I'm experimenting with a bunch of different ways, um, some ways that are more entertaining and more informative. Um, by the way, if you see anything in this video that you want to know more about, uh, let me know and I'll do a video just on that specific thing. You know, that way you can um, hone in on exactly what you want to know. Right now, I'm picking out sounds. I cut a lot of it out because I was looking for a sound for, for a minute. But... This right here, um, that sound right there is what I decided to go with. Now I'll use presets for um, I use presets for a lot of the uh, the foundations but then I'll change them tweak them create my own sounds later on and some keys Trying to figure out the melody that I want to put with it. There we go, I found it. And yes, I talk to myself <laughs> while I'm making beats. Sometimes I'll make a beat or be in the process of making a beat and I don't I won't realize how it or what what I've done to like the end. It's like I leave Earth for a minute. <laughs> Creative process, man, it's amazing. Now that's a weird sound, but I, I thought it would be cool to just lay that sound down and then figure out how to manipulate it later, even though it's clashing with the other sound. But if you look right here, you'll see that I, I brought it down an octave. So now it has its own, its own space. And now you can more feel it than hear it. I'll probably turn it down a, a whole lot. And when I mix it, I'll make sure I'll have that in the sub region, but above where the 808, which is what I'm laying down right now, the 808 using silent one to create my 808 you use any synthesizer I like the way silent sounds ironically my favorite 
synthesizer to use for 808 is the ES2 and Logic. And um, also, more recently, the Machine 2.0. The sub they got in there, you can create a raw ass uh, 808 with that, man. Adding the sprinkles, I like to call them sprinkles. Now, I like to make my beats sound like nothing that you've heard before, but I want it to sound a little familiar. up right there on the end so I'm just fix that note on the end there yeah it might sound like a bunch of noise right now but once I get everything balanced, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Actually, I just added a delay effect to that piano sound. With any bell, a high octave piano sound or anything like that, when you add a delay to it, it just sounds, sounds different. It brings it to another level, like a, almost like a scary movie. Sometimes I EQ when I go as I go along. And sometimes I don't. I just wait for later. It just depends on the sound and how I want the sound to sound at that moment. Because sometimes, it, you know, some of these sounds are annoying. Like if you just keep letting them play and they could take me out of my zone. So I'll EQ them right then. That way um, I can continue to vibe. Like I had no direction with this beat, just, just whatever came out, came out. But sometimes I'll sit down with a purpose and a direction. I make beats for TV, like um, I got beat placed on Kardashians and Bad Girls Club, things like that. Um, and it's a specific way you have to do those. And for artists too, sometimes I want to make a particular type of song, particular type of uh, genre. Or sometimes I just go for what's what I know, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I do that, it's going to come out hip-hop. <laughs> That's what I am. But there you have it, man. Y'all subscribe. Be on the lookout for a lot, of, lot more things. Um, I got a new format. I'm, I'm, I'll be trying a, a few different formats, and then I'm going to stay consistent with the way that I shoot these. And actually, I'm thinking about doing song creation videos where I show you from the beginning of the song to the end. Um, that includes the writing process and the, uh, the recording process and even some of the mix down and just putting it all together within like a 10 minute package and that way you can see the whole thing and then the song will also be available for download or um, if you want to support you know it'll be available on iTunes um, that's coming soon y'all stay tuned um, anything you want to know if I know it then you know I'll definitely show you a video and I'll definitely um, get uh, you know I don't know everything but I'll give you what I know you know, I'll give you my knowledge. You know, each one teach one. We got to share the wealth, baby. That's what it is, man. This is Jack Spade for Project Levitation. Y'all be good.